percentile okay we for constructing slr percentile we use lr0 item so what is this lr0 item that is the that you know that we need to clear first so an lr0 item of a grammar g is a production of g and you know a dot at some position of the right side so if you think about a production rule of a grammar we can think about this a to a capital b small b so this is in this condition this is simply a production rule of a grammar g right now possible lr0 items for this can be any of these you can see one dot is there here we have a dot 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 now this here you, you may think that uh, this dot can be anywhere but no there is a rule uh, why this dot is you know sometimes at the beginning or some in between or at the end it have some significant and uh, you know if you really want to learn lr parsing techniques or uh, you if you really want to construct this parsing table lr parsing tables then you have to understand this dot very carefully okay all the magics are there in this dot if you you know don't maintain this dot properly later when we will discuss you know if you don't uh, able to maintain the dot properly all your calculation may go wrong okay now set of lr0 items will be the states of action and go to table of the slr parser okay <coughs> now a collection of set of lr0 items the you know the we call canon, canonical lr0 collection okay is the basis for constructing lr parser so what is this saying this lr0 item sets are the basis for constructing the slr parser so you understand that uh, you know lr0 and slr the relation is okay then augmented grammar is another thing so what uh, is augmentation we already know that we just uh, uh, you know when we augment a grammar we just uh, add an extra rule to the grammar okay to assure that you know all the time the start symbol is same okay so how we do that g dash is g with a new production rule s dash to s now what is this s s is the start symbol of g and whereas s dash is the start symbol of g dash okay where s dash is the new starting symbol okay which of g dash so augmentation of grammar happens by adding a new rule at the beginning or uh, you know for the start symbol of the grammar understand then the closure operation if i is a set of lr0 items for grammar g then closure i is set of lr0 items constructed from i by two rules what are the these two rules first is initially every lr0 item in i is added to closure i okay closure of i that means if, if you are at the initial state all the lr0 items all the lr0 items will be added to the closure of i okay here i means item okay we are speaking about item set okay <coughs> now if you have something like you know a to alpha dot b beta okay as a production rule in some clo you know uh, in closure i and b to you know gamma in a production rule of g let's see why you are speaking about this if i write like this a to alpha dot b beta okay and it is also saying that if there is b to gamma also 
okay then we have to add okay b2 gamma will be in the closure i why the reason is that this we have to know about this dot what is this dot okay say we have a production rule like this a2 alpha b beta you can see there is no dots at this production rule as the initial condition okay now if we add a dot here that means that this dot is i indicating that what are the symbols are there on the right side of the dot are not being considered for parsing yet okay and at, at the left side of the dot there is nothing means this rule are not being considered for any parsing step okay and, but if you see sometimes you have like this a2 alpha dot b beta in that case it means that alpha is already considered for the parsing but after dot or right side of the dot is having b and beta that means b and beta are not you know yet considered for parsing operation but thing is that after dot we have that b b is what b is a non terminal so now if we have a non terminal how will we understand that what this non terminal can produce uh, what will be the further you know derivation for the <coughs> particular non terminal we are looking at after dot so uh, in this condition if you keep it like this then it is not possible to understand that but if we add this production rule b to gamma okay dot at the beginning then we can understand okay this b which is after dot we, when we will consider this b for parsing this b will be produce this gamma okay so that is the reason that uh, b dot ga gamma b2 dot gamma will come under the closure okay <clears throat> so we will apply this rule until no newer lr0 item can be added to the closure i so <clears throat> there are four actions in an uh, lr parser uh, we already discussed in previous class like in shift reduce parsing right so lr parsers are nothing but Um, nothing but uh, shift reduce parsing okay it is uh, shift reduce parsing so the same four operations will be there or actions will be there in this lr parsers as well which are shift operation reduce operation accept and error you already know when shift happens <coughs> the next input symbol uh, and the state is on to the stack so based on this like you know uh, you have a parse table in the parse table you are just searching for match say in next input symbol become some a and state is uh, say is zero so what is the you know destination for this say it is s1 so this s1 will be the you can see their control is shifted to state s1 okay so this is what shift operation is we will understand it more clearly when we will uh, do a, you know do this with an example okay and reduces you can remember that when we get a handle we prune that or replace the handle with uh, <coughs> with uh, some a you know, grammar symbol like you know is you some where you found beta and you have a production rule a to beta then this beta is going to be reduced to a right so that is was uh, is the reduction operation or reduce operation <coughs> so this thing we will uh, see in later okay and accept means you know parsing successfully completed and error means <coughs> error <clears throat> parser uh, detected an error that means when 
you are searching for match say a uh, state is uh, given s5 and that match is empty there is nothing in the cell in that case the parser will decide or say that uh, it is a error condition okay so these are the four actions okay <clears throat> now uh, look at uh, example of uh, example of uh, item site or closure you can say okay still now we, we still here we will not uh, call this as item set better we call it as closure okay so let's see look at uh, example of closure say we have a grammar given grammar this which is basically g right we have augmented it with this production rule right so here we have g dash that means augmented grammar or augmented form of g okay now what we are doing we have a production here you can see the first production rule e dash to e okay so we need to create closure of this okay so create closure of e dash to dot e dot e means you know we need to process this e to uh, you know analyze the you know we need to understand what this e can produce for parsing okay so we put dot before e because it is the initial condition and e is not processed now if e is not processed then we have to add all the required rules which will needed to process e okay so first of all we have to find that okay we have e dash to dot e dot e okay that means we have to, after dot e is there that it uh, this dot indicates that e will be needed to process or you know you, what are the things in, uh, can be generated by e or what e this e can uh, drive okay so we immediately add all the production rule which are started with e adding a dot at the beginning okay so we have a production rule here e to e plus t so we added this e to dot e plus t okay then again uh, after dot e is there and uh, with e there is another production rule so this also we have to add here dot t okay e to t was there so we added e to dot t now we got another thing here at this location that is after dot we have another non terminal which is t so again we have to add the required production rules which are needed to evaluate or to drive anything from this t so we have to find out which are the production rules starts with t or headed by t so we have one here t to t asterisk f so dot we added here and we add t asterisk f okay another production rule also there that is t to f right t to f so we will add t to dot f okay now after dot we got f that means if uh, <clears throat> after some times uh, this uh, state will evaluate f or we need to provide the production rules for f here okay so for f you can see here f to in bracket e and uh, in bracket e is there so we add dot in bracket e close now see here after dot we have a terminal okay if there is a terminal then we don't need to add anything okay and here also f to id is there so we add f to dot id so again after dot this is a terminal so we don't need to add anything else in this uh, item site okay so this become the closure of e to is e dash to e okay and all these things happened all these things happened due to this production rule so we call this as 
carnal item okay we call this as carnal item okay so if we want to if you look at this uh, here constructed from i by two rules these are this and we will stop uh, there is stopping condition right somewhere somewhere i was telling you that uh, this will be done until there will be you know, no uh, no production rule will left where dot is you know dot is at the end okay not at the end okay so when we will stop when we will find that for each of these kind of items say to are generating the dots are became at the end okay everywhere okay so how that can be possible that uh, me